going to do an autumn style nail now where we're going to encapsulate some copper foil. We've already placed the foam on and this nail's already primed and prepped. So if you're not sure how to do those parts, look back at those videos now. We're going to start by picking up a bead of brown and creating our free edge with it. Nice and thin because the colour is just there for design and not for strength. Turn your brush round and using the tip of your brush blend down slightly. Just using that tip of your brush just to feather it. Belly of your brush to press it all down so that it's nice and thin. Then we're going to pick up some gold glitter and it's going to go over the nail and over the brown. Tip of the brush to feather that gold up, tip of the brush to feather it down. Don't forget to keep your eye on those side walls because we are sculpting. We're then going to pick up a bit of the copper foil just with a little bit of liquid on as brush and place it on the nail. Press it down using the tip of your brush. We're now going to cap this whole nail in our pink acrylic. Don't forget when you're doing your zone 3 to tilt your client's finger down a little bit so that that acrylic doesn't run back to the cuticle. Check your thickness of your free edge and if you need to apply a little bit more you can apply it in a reverse method. Check those side walls. And now we can wait for this nail to set before we pinch it. Don't forget depending on your environment will depend on how quickly your acrylic sets. So if you're in a cool room it will take a bit longer. If you're in a warm room it will set faster. Place your pinching tool on onto the client's side walls. You can then let go. So this nail's now set so we can take our pinching tool off and release the form by pressing underneath till it comes away from the nail and then make sure that you go down.
This nail's now ready to file. We're going to do a little bit of hand painted on top of this nail to turn the copper leaf into leaves. So we need the surface of the nail to be smooth, so we're going to white block. And then you can remove your dust. We want the black lines to be really thin, so make sure you add plenty of water to your paint so that you get nice thin lines. So small amounts of paint on your brush. Outline the leaf and then put some veins into it. I'm going to finish it off with a little swirl right at the top. Wait for your paint to dry and then we're going to finish off with a gel top coat.
and you can put your client's hand into the lamp for two minutes. We're just going to apply a small amount of cuticle oil and massage it in and that nail's finished.